Hello again and welcome back to my channel, American Boy Collects American Girl. So it's two days after Christmas. Um, so I planned on doing this on Christmas Day. You might have seen a video I posted earlier that um, I was showing two dolls I was unwrapping, or two dolls that I was wrapping up for Christmas. One was for Mom and one was for me um, that we got each other. So I don't know if you saw that video. If you haven't, you might want to check that out because I was asking the question, who do you think they are? Because I didn't show you who they were. So toward the end of this video, I'm going to show you what we got. Um, so this video is basically going to be everything we got for Christmas for American Girl. Um, pretty much I only got, I think, one item. <laughs> I gifted a lot of things to mom. Um, so yeah, let me just start off with what we got. I got it all behind me, so pardon me for running reach. All right, uh, let's see where we'll go. We'll start with the books first. All right, so I might have went a little overboard. Mom loves to read, so she got a lot of books for Christmas. Um, and I'll tell you why I gifted her certain things. Um, but anyway, so earlier in the year, I bought a lot. of. Uh, there was a lot of books. A lot. Not a lot of books, but a lot of books that I got off eBay. Um... And then they had the first book for Mary Ellen, so, um, so I wanted to get the rest, the other books. So I got the second book for Mary Ellen. I also got the um, the third book that was the Choose Your Own Ending Story. Um, then I also found out that, let's see, where did the other one go? I'm missing one here. There we go. And I also found out that Mary Ellen also had two mysteries, so we got those two. Um, so that completed our Mary Ellen collection. Then I'd also got, um, Melody. And so we got Melody's two books. I'm specifically looking for the Be Forever ones because those ones um, are the full story because now they're abridged. I was hoping to find... They also have a um, mystery for Melody too, but she didn't have that in stock, so I didn't get that. I got in her in that lot. I got earlier in the year, I had one of Gabriella's books, but we we're missing the other two, so I got the rest of her books. Then on Black Friday... They were having Kira's books were on sale and also Kavi's books. So I got all three of them. Um, and then I found something really cool for five bucks. This is the reading journal for Kirsten's six book set. Um, my companion to Kirsten's six books. And this was part of the American Girls Club and Historical Society. Um, so basically... It starts out with the, this journal belongs to, and each two pages is for each book. So the next two pages are for Meet Kirsten, Kirsten Learns a Lesson, Kirsten's Surprise, Happy Birthday Kirsten, Kirsten Saves a Day, and Changes for Kirsten. And they're, they have, like, questions that they ask, like, um, you know, when Kirsten's family came to America, they could only bring a few precious keepsakes to remind them of home. What special things would make you feel at home anywhere and why? And so they give you like questions to go along with the journal or the, the books as you're reading them. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, next thing, we're going to do some outfits. So mom has always been into figure skating and she grew up on a farm that had a pond that they could ice skate on. So when I saw this, when I got my doll, um, my purchased her. Mom doesn't do online shopping, so I purchased my own stuff. <laughs> and she wrapped it. Well, I wrapped the dolls. I only snuck a peek just to make sure they didn't put tissue paper on it because I've had people do that and I don't like it because when I got Cecile, they had blue tissue paper on her. So I was glad she was a darker skin tone and not the light skin. Oh, that blue could have transferred. But anyway, they had the um, figure skating set for the Olympics. So I thought that was kind of cool. And this is like new in box, never been opened or used. So first off, we have the ice skates. And okay, it's just one of them, but this one actually says Team USA on it, which I thought was really cool. 
then the other three items that go with this set are the little dress, which is kind of cool because like one has actually has fabric for the strap and the other one is just this silver, I don't know if it's, I'm not sure what kind of material they call it. It has this like really poofy skirt. So that's the dress. It also comes, and this is different, but they didn't have them attached, but here's the um, skate guards. Usually they're always attached to any of the ice skates I've ever bought before. Um, and then they have, let's see if I can get the double star barrette. So that's the ice skating outfit. Shot there. <laughs> it's always fun trying to put them back. Um, well, I guess I'll show you the ice skating sets first. So, let's see if I can do this together. Alright, so first I'm going to show you. So, um, earlier in the year I also got two lots of outfits for Mary Ellen and Caroline. And one of them was Caroline's coat. So this is really cool. I love this coat. She's like, Caroline's now is my third favorite coat. If I was to go in order, I would say Nellie's my first favorite of my top three. Claudie's my second and Caroline's my third. So yeah, definitely love this. Well, one reason I decided also to save this mom's favorite color is blue. And this is a really stunning shade of blue. So yeah, so that's the coat. Um... Then it also comes with, so I had the complete set. I think when you first got these, you had to buy the skate set separate. Then it has this really, oops, really cool um, hat with the bow. I'm not sure the bow, I think the bow's supposed to go off to the side. Anyway, so the hat kind of matches and has the same velvet on the sides. Um, then when I dropped. So these are her two little mittens. Sort of brown and black. Sort of like two shades of brown, I guess they are. And then her boots are, sort of have the same feel to them. So that's what her boots look like. Um, I actually haven't done a video for Caroline's set. Here's one of the skates. These skates are very similar to the ones I think they had for Kirsten. At least they look very similar. They might be a different material. I'm not sure. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, they're really, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> if I had a chance, I probably would have hit the pause button before that. Anyway, but they're really cool. Um, so yeah, so I got that. So Caroline was, um, one of mom's favorite characters because it's the war of 1812 and we live in central New York. So we actually, I don't think we lived that far from where that would have taken place. So that's kind of cool. So we kind of had to get make sure we got that one. So the other one I got was Mary Ellen's and this was um, really cool as well. Uh, let's see if I can figure this out. So hang on a minute. Bear with me. I layered this so the white stuff didn't come in contact with the red. Not really sure why they did white, light blue, and red as a color combination, but okay. The first two parts I'll show you are the red. So this is her skating dress. Really pretty. It's got a little bit of frilliness, and then underneath it has a light blue lining. That's sort of satiny. I'm not sure if it's satin or like the material of some of the Christmas dresses for like Samantha and Felicity. Um, yeah, very pretty. It has these little snowflakes embroidered. Little buttons, and they're fake. Because it's actually Velcro in the back, which is nice. Very nice. It's almost like, it's not exactly flannel, but it's like something a little thicker than flannel. I'm not really sure what the material is. And so that's the dress. Now this is something cool I've never seen with a scarf before. Not the snowflake pattern, but this scarf is actually Velcroed in the back. So this is actually already pre-knotted, so you don't have to even knot it, so you don't have to do it around her head. And you just do the Velcro in the back. I thought that was kind of cool. I really love this scarf. I wish the dress actually was more this shade of red. I don't know why they had like multiple shades of things. Anyway, it's a very pretty outfit anyway, regardless. Oh, 
let me put the other part back in. All right, so and the other part. All right, first off, so she has these light blue skates. To me, it was a little bit of a strange color combination that you'd have light blue combined with red, but okay. <laughs> it's not as bad as another combination I've seen where somebody did like a really bright classic pink with, or bright, really bright classic red with hot pink. And I'm like, it was a little bit of a color clash. Anyway, here's the little hat. So she has a little stocking hat with the pom-pom. It's got that similar snowflake pattern going through it. So that's fun. Um, one second. And then it has these the light blue mittens. So everything I just showed you is what I got in the lot. But she was missing one piece. So I did have to get another. I had to get a second skating out skating dress to get the tights. So I was missing the tights. So I do have a dress available if anybody's interested in buying the um <laughs> the skating dress. I just gotta double check and see which one's the better one. I think this probably is one I'll keep. Anyway. So yeah, I got that. This box, the lid back on. So those are the three. Oh no, there's actually four. <laughs> I forgot. There's four outfits. Oh, I forgot to mention when I on the books. Um, so there's three of them were directly from Erin Girl. One, the little Kirsten booklet was just a separate thing I got. But the other eight paperbacks, they were, um, this seller was selling, um, what was I going to say? The seller was, um, had a, like a whole bookstore on eBay. They were doing like, if you buy three, you get the fourth one free. So I got eight, so I got two of them free. Anyway, um, so mom was in her 40s when she had me. So they were really big about like Jean Autry and a lot of the older country westerns. So... Let me show you the cover. So I had to definitely get Mary Ellen's cowgirl outfit for mom. So I was glad this one didn't sell out. But I was able to get this. So this has a really cool hat. I think it's like really stiff felt. And it has a little thing underneath. A little band on the top. So that's the hat. Really fun shirt. I love this shirt. It's got like the little embroidered horse heads on the blue part of the collar. It's got a little bit of fringe. I love this shade of red. I actually wish they'd make a shirt just out of this material without anything on it. It'd be so cool. And these are actually working buttons. So it's not Velcro in the back either. That's fun. And she has these really fun cowgirl boots. So here's what they look like on one side with the star. And they flip them around. They just, they're playing on the other side. And then they have... They have the um, black soles. Um, and then the other part is like a denim skirt. And this does have Velcro in the back. So that's very basic pattern. And they do have a little pamphlet that came with it. For Mary Ellen. I guess this is supposed to be her Halloween costume. Um, then it has her saying howdy partner inside and when you open it up it shows some of the stuff of her time period. So like um, so like Mary Ellen was fascinated with the Wild West. Uh, for Halloween Mary Ellen dresses as a cowgirl. And then her dog Scooter trots along with her when she goes trick-or-treating so she pretends Scooter's her cow pony. <laughs> And she always goes, hi-ho, Scooter. Anyway, that was kind of fun. Very cool outfit. That just says, thanks for choosing American Girl on the back. So that was that. And this one I actually got on sale when they had the Halloween costumes all on sale. So that was kind of a cool little find. Some technical difficulties here. All right. So there's that one. All right. Now for the dolls. I'm going to show you which one I got first. Which one do you think it is? Here's a little teaser hint. It's the girl for 2018. Anybody know who she is? 
It's this girl, Luciana. Now, this was during the time frame when I wasn't collecting, so I really wasn't really into the whole space theme thing. So I really was kind of not on my radar. Um, and here's the book cover. I don't, I don't think we have her books either. Um, however, when I saw this seller selling her on eBay, and it was still brand new in the box, never taken out of the box. I fell in love with this dress, okay? I'm just gonna say that. I, I know some people have an issue with this, but I love the galaxy print, and the reds and the purples are so cool together. And I love this skin tone for the Josefina mold. It's like not as dark. Maybe it is as dark as her. I'm not sure. Very pretty, very cool. Anyway, so that's, I'm not going to take her out of the box right now because he ran out of doll stands. So <laughs> I'm looking to get some more. So hopefully when I, uh, if I think of it, I'll try to remember to do a video. But if not, you'll definitely be seeing her. I was actually seeing, so I haven't got it yet, but I did get the original Y2K Millennium outfit, the purple outfit. And I was trying to figure out who am I going to put it on because I don't really have anybody. I was actually thinking that purple highlight in her hair, which you really can't even see. Like the way they got the hair net on her right now, you cannot even see the purple in her hair. But, um, anywho, I was thinking that outfit would be really cool on Luciana because I think, I don't know if the purple would match or the clash, but I'm hoping to try that out when I get it. Um, not sure if I'm going to get it for New Year's or not, but we shall see. All right, let me switch these two out, and then I'll tell you why I got this one. All right. So when I got that lot, oops, sorry, <laughs> I have a box right for you. This one doesn't really give you a hint, except that it's a girl of the year. Um, so when I got that lot of books earlier in the year, um, they had all the books for Grace, they had the first one for Gabriella, and they had all the books for Leah. I really wasn't planning on getting this doll for a collection. I know a lot of people rave about her. So it wasn't until I really saw some of the other videos that I started to see, oh yeah, I guess she does have a different unique skin tone and hair color combination. But um so I really, but I really wasn't crazy for her outfits because I know I think it was Christy at AG Takes Over was saying about how all her outfits look like they were bought at like the airport gift shop or something to the effect. So I'm like, and I really didn't I mean, they're okay, but they weren't, like, some of my favorite outfits for, like, any of the character dolls. Anywho, Mom read her books. She fell in love with this character. She even asked me when she got through reading the books, is there a doll for this book, How, for these books? And I'm like, well, obviously, they're the girl of the year, but, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, and I was like, I really hadn't planned on getting it, but Mom raved so much about the books. I thought, okay, I'm going to get her the doll for Christmas. So we already had the first book anyway, so we got the second of that. Again, I'm not going to take her out of the box, but I mean, the, the dress is pretty with the cords. And I do love this color hair now that I'm seeing because it's like this caramel brown color, which I don't think many dolls have that. So again, it's the Josefina mold. <laughs> I guess there's a, a theme here because Black Friday sale, I actually got one of the street sheet girls that has the Josefina mold also, along with the Asian boy. Anyway, so but I do want to say, I don't know if this is unique to, and if I can't show it here because in the box, but are the toes a little different for Leah? Because I don't remember the details being so defined in the vinyl. Again, I haven't, you don't really see the shoot, the bare feet that often. So maybe that's why it's just unique to me. I don't know. Anyway, but she is, she is a pretty doll. I do have to say that now that I see her in person. The dress is a little vibrant, but other than that, she's not as bad as I thought she was. She is, she is very pretty. I will say that. All right. Again, I'm not taking it out of the box because I don't have anything to a stand to put it on. All right. Oh, whoops. I forgot to put the books back in. All right, so I am just going to sh show a couple other things. So, again, I didn't show you everything we got for Christmas. I was just focusing mainly on American Girl, but I also wanted to feature a couple items for the other things we collect. And then I wanted to showcase something really cool I found. Um, so one of those things we collect 
I love is the 1980s toy collections. I think oh, it's one of the best decades ever. And look at this game that I found at Marshall's. It's a Care Bear game, and it features the original character drawings for the 1980s Care Bears. And here it shows a picture of the game board on the back. And it features, um, I guess it's Wish, Cheer, Friend, and Bedtime as the main characters that get to be the little people that go around the board game. I thought this was so stinking cool. All right, then something else we collect. Dad started this when I was a kid, but the Hess toy trucks. I think there's maybe a few years we didn't when it felt like it was a duplicate of something they had in the past, but this year was really cool. It's a police car, or police van, I mean, and it has a little cruiser with the uh, battering ram. I haven't taken out the box yet, so I'm not gonna do that right now, but I just was gonna showcase that. Um, something else that I started collecting. So when I was a kid, we got this little snowflake or a snowflake piece you put on like a counter table or whatever, piano. Um, and it has little mini ornaments you put in each of the little slots. So there's like an Eskimo, a polar bear, a seal, and a penguin. And I think each of them are doing something different. Like one of them skiing, one of them is on ice skates. I think, I think the seal's on a sled, the polar bear's on skis, and the penguin's on ice skates. And then the little Eskimo is ice fishing and has a little patch of ice with the hole in it. Um, anyway, so at some point, you know, I, I mean, I've always seen the catalogs and stuff for all the different Hallmark ornaments. But then one year, I just got, you know, I love the concept of the little Eskimo. It kind of reminded me of that thing from my childhood, which we still have, by the way. Um, so, yeah, this is this year's ornament. I haven't actually taken this one out of the box. I am actually going to do an unboxing, not of American Girl, but of the Hallmark ornament for Frosty Friends. Oh, that's right. I stuck that other thing in. <laughs> so, this one's actually kind of cool. It's got the clear plastic thing instead. Sometimes I feel like those a little better because they're um, help protect it a little better. But anyway, here is the ornament. So this year we have it depicted with the famous Eskimo and a little penguin. And the penguin is selling snow cones. And if you want a snow cone, you have to pay with one fish. So the penguin gets his dinner and you get a, a special dessert. <laughs> kind of fun and cool. And then it says right there under my above my finger 2023 so it's dated and he has a little thing of four snow cones and then he's holding a little pink fish very cool ornament i'll definitely put that on the tree in a minute when i get done with this video i'll just leave that for now all right one other thing i wanted to showcase from american girl so this is crazy <laughs> I found this massive lot of Kirsten's items this past summer. Um, I got, and so starting out in 2023, the only thing we had for Kirsten's bedroom collection was her nightgown and her quilt. That was it. Um, now pretty much the only thing I'm missing from her bedroom collection is her enormous trunk, her, um, the candle for the candlestick holder, and also her book of fables. So pretty much I almost own the entire bedroom collection, which is in a state of, that's like mind boggling. Then on top of it, I've gotten extra stuff. I, she, they also had her bench bucket ladle that went with the school story. And I got from Christy at AG Takes Over, I got these school supplies, but I get another school set of supplies from this lot. Sadly, both of the chalkboards were really bad. So that was the two I had an issue with, but then I did a video before. I don't know when these are going to air, so they might not air in order as they happened for when I videotaped them or for when I bought the stuff. But I got a few different dolls. So I got Marie... Started off with getting Marie Grace in her party outfit so I could have that for a Christmas outfit. Then I got a lot of two Truly Me dolls and had a bunch of different miscellaneous stuff. One I specifically wanted for Rebecca's summer dress. She didn't have the rest of the outfit, just the dress, but that was one thing I had an eye on. So I thought, I'm like really thinking that if you buy it by lots and end up selling some of the other stuff off, you kind of come out better than trying to buy it for like $100 for one outfit, which is extremely insane. If you ask me, I'm sorry. No offense to anybody. If you got that kind of money and you want to spend it, that's fine. But I'm like, I, yeah, there's some things I'm not going to spend that much on a doll's outfit. Anywho, um, so yeah, that had that. But then, it had this other thing, and I noticed this. I'm like, oh, this is cool, because I think I know what this is from. 
don't know if it's going to show up the... No, it's not showing up the detail. Huh. So what... Oh, there it is. There we go. Here's the detail. And if you notice the red dot, I come to find out there's a red dot... Oh, this side doesn't have anything. Okay, maybe that was the problem. I was showing you the wrong side. Right, this side has the detail. These two little red dots you need to push. Because if you try to take this lid off, it's not going to come off until you push on the two red dots and whoop, the lid comes off. So here's the lid. And that's got the detail on the top as well. Then inside, so I knew she had this. I thought this was Kirsten's when I first saw it. Um, but I didn't know she had the food with it too. So I don't know which lot had the food. The lot with the, with the lunch pail had the food also or not. But anyway, so this is her little, Kirsten's little loaf of bread. Partial loaf of bread, I guess I should say. That's only half. Then she has a little sausage. Just try it around there. So you can see it. Very cool detail. And she has a little chunk of cheese. And last but not least, she has an apple. So that's so when I was unboxing it, and I started finding all the food, and then I looked up looked it up in the catalog. I'm like, oh crap, she had the whole thing. The only problem was the knack bin was in a lot of pets. I guess they thought this was a pet blanket and not an knack bin. <laughs> so it was in the wrong set. So I was like, I really wanted to get the haul thing from one person. So I ended up getting a lot of pets. I actually got Josefina's goat, which was really cool. Um, there was some of the flocking was coming off, so you can see the bare plastic, but I, we didn't get that animal for some reason. I don't know why. So anyway, but then I got some other of the Truly Me pets. So then I was like, oh, this was so cool. And, and the crazy thing too was um, uh, I also got, besides the pets, I also got a Kirsten doll. Um, the loop braids had come down. But it still had the factory braids. I'm pretty positive because you could see the little um, mark where it curls up. So I thought that was really cool. But in that lot with Kirsten, with the second Kirsten doll, they had another set of the school supplies. So I actually ended up with three of them. And finally, the third one um, is actually, I finally got a chalkboard that was good. It was one well, way better condition. The other two... Basically, I've been drawn on, and there was, and it wasn't drawn on the right stuff, so you could basically not get it off. Um, all right, so one thing I forgot, and I already put this out on display, so I'm not gonna go out there and get it. But um, I took a picture, I snapped a picture of it. So I started getting. Uh, Mom has collected other dolls before American Girl, anyway, but um, I got into this collection of the Precious Moments Nativity set that were vinyl dolls. Um, there's several different sets I've had over the years. But this specific set had the stable, uh, Mary Joseph, Baby Jesus, the Three Wise Men, a drummer boy. Um, when I got the stable, they also had a, a little angel ornament. I don't think that was actually part of the collection. That was just a separate thing. But the shepherd, I was having the hardest time getting, like getting. So like every year, I got her another one. So the first year, we got the stable with Mary Joseph, Baby Jesus, and the angel ornament. Second year, I think it was I might have been the drummer boy. I think third year was the wise men. Then all that was left was the shepherd for that particular collection. It is so hard to find the shepherd separate. Like most people are selling the shepherd with the collection or parts of the collection and not just by itself. So it was very frustrating. So last year I was not able to finish. So technically last year in 2022, I should have been able to finish off the collection, but I wasn't able to. So sorry, I heard something. It must be outside. <laughs> anyway, um, so I finally found the shepherd. So I took a picture with my other tablet just so I could show you. So that's the shepherd of the sheep. And this is such a cool piece because uh, you can't really tell it here, but the sheep all have ribbons around their necks that tie off on the, the shepherd boy's hand. So basically it's like he's a dog walker for sheep. Um, it was kind of funny. I... Um, Saw this, I grabbed it like immediately. I just went and purchased it without anything. Then I was looking back at the picture, and I'm like, Oh no, he's missing the shepherd staff. And even the seller didn't even realize that that was missing until I pointed it out to him. So, um, I actually went and found another lot. They're selling for a hundred dollars for like I think it was the entire collection, actually, except for the stable, it was just the dolls. Um, I was like, Oh, I don't really want to do that. Um, 
but then I forgot about it. It ended, it was relisted, and they started it out as a bid for $50. Nobody else bid on it, so I got a second set for $50 just so I could get the Shepherd Staff. So I don't want to be selling off the second set because I don't want two of everything. But um, but yeah, so and that was really cool. Um, so yeah, I got that. And then lastly, I just wanted to showcase something really cool that I found at Target. So Target has an insane amount of ornaments, and especially cloth made like stuff, almost like stuff you would have made, like, like would have been craft projects back in the day. Um, but then I was like looking at them and I saw these, um, I was like a pig. I'm like, it's a pig. Okay. Why? Do we have Christmas ornaments that are pigs? But then I started noticing what these guys are holding. Okay, notice this little pig. Um, he's got like work overalls and a work ball cap, a work cap, and he's carrying a bundle of straw. Know where this is going anywhere yet? Well, let's look at another one. Then I found there was a third, a second pig. I'm probably not doing these in the right order that I found them in, but here's the second pig. Let me get the tag out of the way. And this one is carrying a little bundle of wood. And he's also got like a little work outfit on. Then it suddenly clicks when I figure out when I see the third pig. Oops, I got caught with the wolf. Anyway, <laughs> and he's got a single brick in one hand and he has a little cement trowel and he has glasses on. It's the, oh, there we go. It's the story of the three little pigs of how they made a house out of straw, wood, and brick. And then here is a little wolf. Now, they didn't just have these. They had other ones. They had the three wise men. They had Scrooge and the three ghosts for past, present, future. They never had them all at once. I would have liked to have gotten them. Um, but the other things they had was they had Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Baby Bear, and Goldilocks. And then they also had Little Red Riding Hood, Grandma. And then they had a different wolf, but it was in a dress. So it was the wolf pretending to be Grandma. And I was like, these are so stinking cute. But I just I couldn't get over like the detail in like the building supplies for these little pigs those were so cool and then even the even the outfits they put them in i mean these are like almost i think these are made of felt i mean these are actually something you could almost like make yourself if you had the patterns for it but these were so cute and these are on sale so i didn't pay full three dollars for each of these i think it was like two something but i just like i just had to showcase those um i think that was everything that i wanted to show i think that was everything collectible we got I think that was everything from American Girl. Again, we did get some other stuff that wasn't collectible related, but those were the things I really wanted to showcase. Um, so sorry this didn't get out on Christmas, but um, you all have a Merry Christmas. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. <laughs> and next time I see you probably won't. I don't know if I'll do another video before the new year. We'll see. Anyway, I still want to do my unboxing for the, well, re-unboxing for what I got for Black Friday because I didn't do that yet. So that's, didn't do that video yet, so that's kind of cool. Um, I got another video coming. I do an unboxing of the some Christmas stuff I got before they went on sale, which I'm really bummed about. But anywho, um, yeah, I think that's about it. So yeah, you know how to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments, what did you get from American Girl for Christmas? Did you get anything or was there anything else you collect besides American Girl that you got for Christmas? Let me know in the comments. You guys all have a great night and I'll see you next time.